Well, the final video has come. This is my, these are my picks for my 10 favorite MCU movies as a part three to my MCU ranking. Kicking off the top 10, Spider-Man Homecoming. This to me is a nice little breath of fresh air from the MCU as it's from the perspective of a high schooler on being a superhero as well as the MCU. Tom Holland is just perfectly cast in this role. He is so good at playing this young kid superhero. And Tony Stark is used in a very interesting way as a mentor to Peter Parker. And this movie also has some fun dynamics with characters like Ned and good themes about responsibility in a different way that wasn't repeated before. And so this is a Spider-Man movie that I really enjoy. Number 9, Spider-Man No Way Home. This is a nice crowd pleaser in the MCU, and I love seeing our three big Spider-Man together. But the problem that holds this movie back for me is that it has a lazy setup about Peter Parker whining about a spell in his life, and the finale and the resolution can be a bit confusing, and it doesn't really make much sense how all the villains forget Tom Holland's Peter Parker, and then they go away. Still, it's very enjoyable, certainly, certainly awesome to see our three Spider-Man together, like I said. I just wish it could have put more effort into the setup. Number eight is Captain America the Winter Soldier, a more mature MCU movie that has deep, complex plotting and storytelling. Add to that, there's a bunch of thrilling and visceral action in the MCU, some of the most some of the best action we've had in the MCU is so visceral. The shots are going all around like this. And it has a plot about Steve Rogers' personal struggles about being a soldier in the wrong time. There's interesting and compelling villains with Bucky and Alexander Pierce. And it sprinkles in humor without cutting the tension. And so this is an awesome movie. Number 7 is Black Panther Wakanda Forever. After Phase 4, I was skeptical going into this movie and no MCU movie held a bad hand behind production than this film, but this is a return to form from Phase 4. It feels like it was told by a good storyteller, it's a more mature MCU movie, it has stakes on a personal level as well as an outside level, uh, It's a pr and it manages to be a proper tribute to Chadwick Boseman as well as the character of T'Challa in a good way, while having these threats like Namor that can be charming, but also disappear into threats. Also add to that there are some fun characters like Ironheart thrown into the mix that just adds a bit of levity into the mix. Put it all together, you have a great closeout to a mediocre MCU phase. Number six is Iron Man. This movie is smaller in scale than most of the rest of the franchise, but it's a compelling character's journey as you see where Tony Stark is at before his transformation as well as after he turns into Iron Man. And that's just a very effective way of storytelling. It, it doesn't have all the weight on the shoulders of the MCU's weight. It doesn't have to outdo the last film. It could just tell its own story. And so this was a great kickoff to a great franchise. Kicking off the top five is The Avengers. Here, Kevin Feige and Joss Whedon did the impossible took heroes from several franchises and made a team-up movie and is the and this movie is the foundation for every single team-up movie that has been done since at, at its core it's a simple story but it's done with excellence given it into the hands of Joss Whedon and Kevin Feige and this gives for opportunities for our great heroes to interact which makes for some fun dynamics and it has some awesome slam bang action and when you get to the final battle in New York that's one of the most iconic final battles in the entire MCU and so this is a film that is just a crowd pleaser and is a joy to watch. In fourth place is Captain America Civil War. This was actually my introduction to the franchise. I saw this one in the theater when I was in like first grade but watching it older several times it's a film that's one of the most compelling films in the MCU. It ties a bunch of MCU movies together, such as the Iron Man and Captain America franchise, while setting up Infinity War, Black Widow, etc. And it has great it had great marketing like pick a side, whose side are you on, Captain America's or Iron Man's, and the audience debates who was right and who was wrong. I personally am Team Cap and it has earned drama and complex storytelling that just makes it one of the most compelling and interesting films in this franchise. Kicking off the top three is Guardians of the Galaxy. Here Kevin Feige took a risk with these obscure superheroes and made a team up movie with them and I have a lots of nostalgia for it. I saw this first when I was in, like seven years old to prepare for Guardians Volume 2 when it came out of the time and 
it's very nostalgic for me. And at the time, even right now, I loved it. This was such a pleasant surprise. And James Gunn uses his gift to take a group of weirdos and give all of them humanity. Add to that, you have one of the best soundtracks in the last 20 years. And what James Gunn and Kevin Feige crafted here was just a very emotional and personal film. Our runner-up is Avengers Endgame. If any MCU movie deserves to be called epic, it is Avengers Endgame. It's massive in scale and size, and you could see how the Avengers respond to their loss that was in Infinity War. The, and because their loss was so dramatic, it has so much payoff when you get to the slam-bang Battle of Earth finale. And, and that just makes for some great fan service, great moments, and this is just a marvelous finale to the Infinity Saga section of the MCU movies. But for me, coming in in first place is Avengers Infinity War. To me, I was so excited when they first announced this movie. The thought of this movie blew me away, and it absolutely lived up to the hype when I saw it opening night. It has awesome action, a huge ensemble of characters, and it has a tragic, shocking, and memorable ending of, the, and that's the most memorable ending of this entire franchise. It's fun watching all these heroes interact from Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy together, and there's a great and compelling villain that can be sympathetic, but he's clearly a threat that needs to be stopped. To me, this was where the MCU had its best uh, action and everything like that. It has memorable moments and sequences, and so for me, it is my favorite MCU movie. There you have it, that's my ranking. Down below, share your ranking of all the MC movies or just your top 10 over on my channel. I have more content, like and subscribe. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end. I'll see you in the next one.